Hi there, this is Yunus, and in this video we're going to cover the topic of if-else statements. For this lesson, we're going to build a program that checks the score and displays the letter value for the score. For example, if your score is 80%, then you get B, or if your score is 90%, you get an A, and so on. So let's start by creating a variable to store our score and we'll use integer for that. So let's say integer score and uh, let's say we we got 94 on this test. So the first thing that we can do, let's create one if statement. So to create if, if statement, you write if parentheses and inside of the parentheses you write your condition so let's check whether or not we got it we got D so in that case we'll check whether or not our score is less than 70 this means if our score is less than 70 it will execute body of the if statement and let's display message that says you got um, D and line. Let's build and run this program and see what will happen. As you can see, our program did not display anything because the score was 94 and 94 is not less than 70, so I did not execute that part. So that means we need other if statement to check other scores as well. For demonstration purposes, let's create another if statement that checks the score as well. And let's say score if score is less than 80. If score is less than 80, we'll display a message that, that says you got C. And let's assume we got 64 on the test and let's build around this and see what will happen as you can see our program displayed both messages the reason for that is that we have two if statements so our variable goes to the first one it checks whether or not 64 is less than 70 that is true that means we got D but then 64 goes to the second if statement as well and it checks whether or not 64 is less than 80 which is also true but that does not mean that we got C so we have to find a way so that when our if statement is true the other if statements will not be executed at all so if score is less than 70, if that is true, we don't want to check if the score is less than 80. For that purpose, there is a for that purpose, we can add else in front of the if statements. So what what this means, our program is gonna go and check our score on the first if statement. So it's gonna say if score is less than 70 which is true because our score is 64 it will display this message that says you got D and since this is true this whole statement is true it won't execute this if statement as long as the preceding one is true let's build and run this so as you can see our program displayed only this message you got D but now let's let's increase our score and let's assume we got 75 let's build around this and as you can see on this one it displayed the second message this is because score is 71 and we check whether or not 71 is less than 70 that is not true that is false for that reason our score goes to the second if statement else if else if the first one is not true we're gonna check the second condition 
So 75 is less than 80. That is true. So we're executing the you got C message. So let's uh, write other conditions as well. So else if score is less than 90, that means you got it. You got B. Let's build and run this. As you can see, our program displayed only the second if statement. The reason is 75 is not less than 70. So it goes to the next one because the first one is not true. We check the second one. 75 is less than 80, which is true. So we display the message inside of that if statement. And because this if statement was true, we're not going to check the next one. And uh, and as in previous one, if we delete if part, it will display two messages because both of them are true, basically, because 75 is less than 80 and less than 90. So we're going to add that part. Another thing that you can do with if else statements, you can write just else, else and by statement. And we can say you got, you got A. The difference between them, so let's hand execute this. So we have 75, 75 is not less than 70 so it goes to the next one 75 is less than 80 so it displays only this one and it won't even check the next next two if statements if else statements so if we build and run this it will display only you got C let's change our score to 95 and see what happens as you can see we our score is 95 95 is not, not less than 70 so it goes to the next one 95 is not less than 80 it goes to the next one 95 is not less than 90 so any any score number that is more than 90 will display this one because it basically says if none of these are true then just display the last one else statement so if we change this to 85 it will display B so this is like a basic explanation of if else statements uh, for the coming up lessons we're gonna use how to create a range so we can say like for example if score is less than 80 and score is more than 70 we'll display C but to do that first we have to learn all the logical operators and this is pretty much it for this lesson thank you for watching